It looked good from this angle. But it's there. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Gagey Horny Beanie Guys. Another awesome, awesome episode of High School Stories. In this episode, oh boy, do I have a great episode for you guys. Smiling big. That means it's a good one. That means it's a good one. So, this episode is about, like you've seen, the title, Bromance. You guys are thinking, Bromance? What? What bromance are you having, Gage? What is going on here in high school with bromance? And what term are you using? Are you saying it as that you've had a maybe homosexual experience? No. We are talking about one of my best, best, best friends that I have had for a very, very long time. For a year. <laughs> about a year. So, as you all know, uh... If you guys have followed me for a long time, I was with this girl for two years, and we didn't just didn't really work out, and we broke up. And um, there was this other kid in my class, and he was dating his girlfriend for about I think about half as long as me and my girl were. So um, we were, you know, me and my girl used to sit, and we had this class together. Me and this guy named uh, we'll call him Horny C. <laughs> Horny C. All right. So me and Horny C used to sit. Uh, we both uh, sit it like in towards the front of the room, but of course it had me and my ex girlfriend, and then we had him, and he'd always have this other girl he talked to that were just friends because he had a girlfriend, and of course I was dating her, you know. And then uh, you know we kind of had all these things go down, and then uh, one day we break up, and I come to school, and you know I'm all depressed because she broke up with me and all this stuff, you know. And plus it was just kind of a vice versa thing, but you know it's a good thing in the end that we actually broke up, and I'm actually very glad we did, you know. But, um, you know, and then she started sitting back with some friends. Like, you know, like, you always sit with the person you're most friends with, but then after you're not friends with that person anymore, you sit with someone you're kind of friends with, you know? So after me and her weren't friends anymore, I still sat in the front of the room by uh, this uh, horny C, and my ex just sat in the back of the class, and I would, like, just sit up there and just kind of have my head down and just pay attention or whatever, and this was actually sign language. Yes, I just spelled I love you. <laughs> and so... Um, you know, I remember, I remember, like, I took, uh, two trimesters, I was gonna take my, three more trimesters this year, because it was my senior year, and I planned on it, but they took the program out, oh, so mad, so mad, and the teacher, I missed the teacher, because she was like, this is, she's part of the story right here, but they took it out, and I remember a lot of stuff, just taking two classes, I remember, like, hello, my, and then I need two hands for this, but name, uh, is, uh, Gage, H-O-R, and e, it's really hard doing my whatever, but you know you wouldn't say like is, but it'd be like hello, my my name is G G A G E H O R N E. It's been a while, you know, but um, uh, I remember this drink, and I remember a bunch of stuff, but it would t it just takes a little bit of moments, uh, seconds. But we had the sign language class together, and that's why me and my ex took it because we both wanted to take sign language together, and we it was our second time taking it, and. Once we broke up, she's sitting in class, and I'm sitting next to Horny C, and one day it's all like we're doing our, like, everyone had groups and stuff, but I just was working on it individually, and then Horny C looks over, and he's like, hey, dude, come work with us, so I just like, oh, sure, you know, and I start talking to him and his friend, and we're just all, like, talking and kind of, like, laughing and having a good time, and we started talking about him and his girlfriend, and he told me they've been fighting, like, all this morning, and da-da-da, and then... I was like, oh, so the next day I come in, and like, I, next time I like sit like right next to him, and we start talking, and we're just having, and he like starts asking me what happened with my ex, and we start becoming good friends. Like, didn't even know each other, and I never even seen this kid until I took this class with him. It's really weird, and he was a freshman, and I was a junior because this was last year, and we were sitting there. I would sit there and sit next to him. We just like talk like all hour, and uh, one day, and it's been about a week, and. Uh, we've been, it's been about a week since we became uh, friends, you know, and started talking and stuff. And then he comes in and he's all like, has the face I had when we broke up. And he's like, I'm like, dude, did you guys break up right when he sat down? He's like, yes. I'm like, oh, dude, no. He's like, yeah, we just didn't work out. I'm like, no, bro, no, 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 no. And I'm all like sad. I'm like, dude, I feel so bad for you. But the, I got to give him props because he was a freshman and he was dating this girl that was a very very attractive senior and i was i gave her process or not senior uh sorry junior she was in my grade as uh, she's senior now because i'm a senior now so 
anyways, I was like, dude, high five. I was like, yeah. And, you know, I was like, oh, so he's really cool. And he's really good broski. And uh, he's been in, uh, I think, one of my YouTube channels before, uh, one a while back, about us being in a hurricane simulator, me and a bunch of friends. And you guys know Orion already. And he was uh, the... He was one of them. There's two more. I can't really. I don't remember exactly the video. What the video looks like, but he was in that one. His only video he's been in that I know of, remember of. Anyway, so we became really good friends, and I, after that, I was like, oh, and I'm like, tell me all about it. He's been depressed, but after a couple of days, he kind of like just got all happy and, you know, just kind of just forgot about like trying to focus on himself. You know, like how high school should be, but you know, we all gotta have boyfriends and girlfriends. Uh, you know. <laughs> But that's just how high school is. We all like boyfriends and girlfriends. It's just how high school is. So we started talking and became good friends. And then after about, I'd say about two, two and a half weeks, we, were, we had a sign language test. And she would sign off something like, what does this mean? And like she would sign it off and we have to write down what it means. But we had to be quiet. And, but I was like, looked over. I'm like, hey, uh, bro, what is it? You know? And teacher's like, hey, bromance, stop talking. I'm like. Dude, and we started laughing. Like the whole class was just like, "Oh my gosh!" I laugh, and and uh, when it was like the next day, and we came into class, and we set our stuff down. We started talking, and because we were talking when we came into class, she's like, "Oh, look at the bromance guys!" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's true bromance," and we were just like, "Yeah, bromance forever!" And we just started this whole thing with bromance, and like people even in the class that we didn't even know would be like, "Okay, hey, bromance guys, come on, I'm trying to pay attention," like joking around and stuff like that. And the teacher. We'll call her Miss F, and she really was the best sign language teacher ever. She would, like, she wasn't even, like, a teacher, and I should, I need to do an episode on her. I do. I do need to do high school stories. But she would, like, stand up at the top of class, and, like, she would dance around, and she would, like, sing to us, and she would, like, write things on the board, and she would, like, sign to us, and, like, she was a really good teacher. She just, like, interacted with us in a different way, and I'm not the kind of guy when a substitute walks in and says, Hey, I don't care what your names are. If I say your name wrong, and then I'm just going to totally, uh, I don't care. Just don't say anything. Don't correct me, blah, blah, blah. And then you correct her when she calls out your name. And she's like, what did I say? And then it's like, go out in the hall. Yeah, I've had a substitute like that. And I probably should do an episode about her, too, because she's just freaking crazy. But, you know, I'm not the guy that goes, I hate that substitute. Because like, you can hear the whole class one substitute. This substitute sucks. She's a B word, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm just kind of the guy. Like, it's like, oh, okay, I understand. I listen to. And that's why... I'm um, not being conceited or anything, but that's why a lot of teachers like me is just because I understand, I, I just understand and I don't really, like, I'm not just like the bad kid and I do talk and sometimes I can be the class clown and stuff like that, but when they send me to the office and stuff like that or something like that, I do understand, I haven't been sent to the office in forever, but I'm just saying for an example, I would understand and I guess substitutes have a tough time because it's high school and high schoolers can act like kindergartners. This we all in the world know, so that's why... You know, and they get all mad. I didn't have my phone out, and they're like, "Yes, you did." And they're like, "I, they're like, I, I didn't have it out." When in reality, they had it out. They're just lying and trying to find a substitute. And then they're all like, "I hate that substitute." It's like, dude, why do you hate them? Because you are the one breaking the rules. That's why everybody says they hate cops too. It's because you're the one breaking the laws. You know, even I, for a second, when I get pulled over speeding, kick and he gives me this friggin' hundred dollar speed ticket and goes away. I'm like, oh, I hate cops. You know, just playing around. After a day, I'm like, oh, whatever, just go pay it off, and that's the end of it. You know, I'm not like I hate cops and I would grudge against them for the rest of like eternity. You know, but anyway, so me and he would, she would always say like, bro, mass and whole. The whole class would just be like, bromance, guys, what's going on, you know? And we'd always walk in, and we'd always, like, hugging. And, like, one day, this is the, this is a really big, funny day. She's like, hey, bromance, guys, stop uh, having your little bromance, the teacher. She's like, stop having your little bromance over there. I'm going to have you go up on the door and write uh, five of the sign language words down on your sheet. I'm like, you know what? I will. And I went up on the board, and everyone was watching me, and I just grabbed one of the markers. I'll, I'll see if I can do this here. I just went up on the board and I just drew a big old heart and I actually put time into it. I made it all perfect and then I colored it and I drew a bunch of little hearts and I put like, and of course it'll be backwards to you, but I put bromance right in the middle and I'm like Cody plus Gage and da 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 and I wrote this big old thing and the teacher's laughing the whole time. And you guys would think this teacher's very, guy, this teacher's very inappropriate, but she, it wasn't even that. She was just like really cool. Like someone said something inappropriate or swore or said a bad name or talked bad about somebody or another teacher or kept talking interrupting her she'd kick us out you know it's like she's a teacher and she really is it's just when we have like our fun time and we're doing assignments she'll entertain us she'll when she's teaching us she'll keep us like in her like she, I don't even want to play with my phone when I'm in her class because she's just so funny to watch and she totally gets my attention 
not only did I get an A plus in that class, but I got a 98% in my second class. Yeah, 90%, right? Sign language. And it is an easy language. And I'm not going to say that. It is hard to remember a lot of them, but to, for this class, it is an easy class, I could say. And it was a lot of fun, and I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, I, I looked at Spanish once, and I was just like, mm-mm, like, yeah, way harder. And everybody I know just fells that class. But sign language was just fun, and it was just, just a fun class to be in. So and it really was just a teacher. So uh, bromance, though. So, uh, we just got, I just went up there and wrote that big old bromance thing on the board. I wrote it hard, and the teacher, like, at this point, is just laughing, like, so hard, and she's, like, just crying, and after I put Cody plus gay, she's just, like, and Cody, by the way, is horny C, and, uh, <laughs> she just starts laughing hardcore, and it was just the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, like, I just I remember looking back, and, like, what? There you go, that's the end there. Freaking Cody plus Gage, what do you think about that? And she just laughed, whole class laughing. It was just the start of a bromance, and why I made this video is because it's cra it's crazy how two guys that had no and this this is what the teacher said too. This is her words too. She's like, because we walked into school one day, and she's like, it's crazy how two kids that don't even know each other just became really great friends. And you guys must have had a lot of common. I remember looking at him like, yeah, we do, we do, don't we? Because, you know, we both bro had broke up with our, got heartbroken by our girls. Like, sh she broke up with him, too. So we both got heartbroken. And we spent a lot of time together, played games. And I have this weekend, and this is going to be one of my next high school stories. I'll give you a little, little bit of a hint, all right? High school stories. I had five friends the other night. And the stuff you guys need to hear that happened in this small room with five people, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Oh, it was intense, so, anyways, it was a good day, I had a lot of fun, I had a blast in this class, and me and Horny C, um, are still really good friends to this day, and we've both seen a couple girls, dated a couple girls since then, and all this other drama, you know, but it's high school, and I really ain't looking for no relationship till after, because we, if you're smart, then you just know, in high school it doesn't last, I mean, Sometimes it does if you really like don't fight it off in the beginning and you just really are into that each other and you just like really care about each other then I, I believe it. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I'm just saying it's very rare because even I thought I was in the most perfect relationship for two years and after a while she just <laughs> broke up with me over text message. So it's just like two years of nothing in high school, freshman year all the way up to like junior year, year summer or whatever, whenever we broke up. So Things happen, guys, but high school is a great time, and when you're a senior, all advice I gotta say is just live it while you can, guys. Time flies by. It really does, and that's why I'm doing these high school series, so I can remember these good, great times I had in high school. <sighs> Too bad we can't do it forever, but you know what's next? College! <laughs> yeah, so, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Romance out. <laughs>